hello there, welcome back to Crafters TV. It's time, of course, for our destination weekly coloring show. We are, of course, talking about Color Me Happy, and we have got so many different mediums of coloring on this show. We are going to forget color you happy, we're gonna color you ecstatic in this hour. Do you know why that is? Because the lovely Debbie Fisher is here. Debbie, looking forward to a couple of days together, kicking it off with an awesome color me happy. Yeah, absolutely, Joe. I, it's, in fact, I think I've only ever done one other color me happy Ooh. show. So yeah, and I can't wait because what I do love, anything that's liquid, all our liquid inks are, I absolutely adore. It's the first time, well, it's not the first time I've got hold of them, first time I've been able to show you them. I've got so many tips, tricks, techniques. Uh, we literally have a jam-packed couple of hours, Joe. Good. Just quickly before we get into the show, Debbie, for anyone that maybe has not seen, like myself, hasn't seen the re on before, mm -hmm. what are we going to be able to do with them uh, and what sort of techniques can we expect through the show? So basically, one little pot of this re will refill your uh, pen um, at I think it's about 30 times. Whoa, so yeah, shut the you've front got door. Lo loads of ink in there. So if I open it up, you'll see that little pipette. I mean, that's not a lot, but that's a lot of ink that you're putting into your pen. So that's what they were made for. That's what they say. Reinkers is to reink your pen, and we're going to be showing you exactly how we do them. But this little jar will do so much more. It's amazing, uh, and we we're going to show exactly how we can do lots of different techniques with those as well as how to refill your pen. Awesome. Well, that's still to come in the show. Loads of other stuff to look forward to as well. Uh, let's get right in. Let me share with you uh, the reinkers that we've got on the show. You've just seen them there. This um, collection has been put together as to be some of the most popular colours uh, that there are out there. So first of all, uh, you've got LG4, which is light green 4, which is this one just here. It is back in stock on these. You've also then got JG2, which is jade green 2. You have got O. R1, which is your orange, you've got DP3, DP, deep purple. That's my, my first initials, that is, Joe. Sorry? That, that used to be my maiden name was D Pearson, Debbie Pearson, so DP, DP, but it's not Debbie Pearson. DP3. So I'm just through. putting on my apron so my clothes don't get all muddy. <laughs> dusty, <laughs> dusty purple is what that one is. This one here is LY2. Would you like your light yellow? Then you've got tea. Oh, your lemon. Lemon. Hell, why? Okay. TB4. <laughs> True blue four. Uh, and then BP6, which is your bright pink six or hot pink, uh, as we are calling them. Uh, I'd love to, love to have a chat with the person that named all of these. Anyway, uh, you can get, the rainbow, hang on, shut the front door. No one told me it was a rainbow collection. Hello, they're going home with me. 3594 4770. Let's move on to the Aquatints. These are awesome because the great thing about Aquatints is that there are so many different techniques that you can do with these. And we're going to take you through them as we go through the show. You're going to get the perfect pastels in here, which one of the all time top colours. In here, you're going to get Moonstone Cosmos and you're getting that Rose Quartz as well, which is brilliant. A couple of other bits in here for you as well. We've got the swash stamps that are in here. Joe Swash's favourite stamps. You've also got the classic love cut and emboss folder and you're going to get the paper in here and you're gonna get an ink pad as well. It is a glorious collection of goodies, saving over 25% as well, which I think is absolutely fantastic. Lots of you are saying hi already. It's the new time. How are you guys getting on with the new timings? I must admit, it's my first day today, Debbie. I'm not really sure what time it is at the moment. I don't know. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and maybe at the end of this hour, I'll just automatically go. You know, that's what I meant to, oh, that's what I normally do. Lock Roberta, the door. <laughs> sorry? Lock the door. Oh. Uh, Roberta, <laughs> Linda, uh, Patty, Sam, Jill, all saying hello. Good evening uh, to all of you. Good afternoon. Uh, maybe even good morning, of course, if you are across on the West Coast. Let me just share with you some of the other stuff that's coming up in the show that I know is going to be really busy. Uh, the Sparklinks, these are always awesome whenever you see these. A great starter collection. Silhouette stamps, stamps and dies, papers, ink pads, and the inks as well for a great price. We've also got a metallic starter collection for you as well. You get four jars of inks in here, making the value even better. You get the black paper, the blending tool, and the floral stamp as well. 
We've got a blending starter kit for you as well, which has got the palette, the blending tool, the spritzers, and that mat as well, which is fantastic. Lots of you commenting away. Don't forget as well, spend it, craft it. <laughs> spend it, save it, craft it. Johnny got it wrong and he was looking at it, right? It's just here. Spend it, save it, craft it. Spend 25, spend five. Spend 25, save five. Spend 50, <laughs> save 10. Spend 25, save 15. You can use that in conjunction with the great deals in the show and also with your club inspired discount as well. Right, re -inkers. Loads of excitement for these already. 10% of the stock has already gone, Debbie. Uh, we haven't seen these for a long, long time, have we? No, we haven't. And they are so amazing, Joe. Honestly, when you start playing with them, it's absolutely brilliant what you can do with them. Shall we start, Joe? Are we okay to start straight Let's away? Let's go. With something? Let's go. So, our classic pens. This is what they're for the illustrator, the classics. You could actually even take out the nibs of your tri blend and put them in there. But what I'm going to show you is super easy. You're going to take off your chisel nib, so the biggest nib. Uh, I've just got a little bit of plastic here but you can use a kitchen towel and it's just because when you sort of and all you need to do is give that a little wiggle and as you pull it the whole tip will come out so and if you're replacing we used to be able to replace the nibs as well if you're replacing that's how you do it so that's your pen ready to go now mine are just slightly different colors so this I've got a BP4 with me but you'll have a BP6 uh, only because these are just the, the ones I picked out from my stash and it was silly getting another ones these are sort of the ones I use the most um, and all you're going to do is take a pipette full and you're going to squirt that and drop that into there. Now, I would say my pen is not, um, is not uh, been used that much, this one, because it's the studio one. But if your pen is getting empty, you would only need three pipettes of this, Joe, into to re-ink. So you're getting quite a lot of ink in there. And all you would then do is take your uh, piece here and put... Oh, pop the uh, wrong side don't put the wrong side back in so it's uh, you just pop that back into your pen and your pen is ready to go now the most important thing especially if you've let your uh, ink go down quite a bit you need to leave it horizontal to allow your ink to equalize because once your pet your ink is in there it does need to equalize the pen so when you come to use your bullet nib or your chisel nib your ink will be both of those sides which is why we always say to keep your pens horizontal because it has to equalize the ink so that's what they were used for and can we can we can we use these to re-ink all of our refillable alcohol markers then debbie so Absolutely. i know uh, which ones can we refill which ones can't we well refill? actually you can refill all of them all the nibs do come out joe okay. so even the tri blends we we don't recommend the tri blends uh, but it is possible so you can re-ink all of them but these have been specifically made for the illustrator and for the uh, classic so you'll be able to refill them with Brilliant. those things so i would say go for this bundle uh, and they will be your probably your sort of most used ink uh, they also come with full instructions on the inside which I quite like so you get that all on there uh, and you just need to take that off and then you're ready to go your bottles ready to go with your little plunger now the best thing that we can recommend to use um, alcohol reinkers is uh, Upo paper or something glossy now Upo paper is uh, it's not it's not made by us it's not a specific thing made by any other company it's you Upo is a company in its own right, so uh, it's just plastic synthetic paper, that's what it is, so it's quite shiny. So anything with a surface, so um, Joe, you could use glossy photo paper. I was about to say, yeah. Could, yeah, that would do the work. same thing, you could use your acetate, it works brilliant on acetate. Uh, I'm going to be using Upo paper, sorry we don't have it in stock, but like I say, just Google Upo paper, you will be able to, and it's Y-O-U-P, have I done that right? Yes, just Upo, P-O, sorry, don't know. <laughs> yes, it's only four letters. <laughs> I don't even know what I said, so we won't just just won't watch that. Y O U, I O U, Y O U, Y O U. 
<laughs> I'll stop now. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to take a piece of my UPO paper uh, and I've got lots of different things to use. So uh, one of the main things that's good to use with this is what we call uh, an iso... Um, it's a iso propanol. Propanol, that's it. I said propanol. I knew I'd get it wrong, so I wrote it down. It's my. my oh, we're 10 minutes in, Debbie. We're 10 minutes in. <laughs> I said propanol. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> Got there eventually. Uh, and all I'm going to do, Joe, is I'm going to spray. Uh, in fact, before we do that, let's just go straight in with our inks and show you what they do. If you put this onto glossy paper, and we're just going to put little droplets into the paper. Uh, and, ha and put them on there. Now it won't dry straight away. You have to almost sort of force dry it because it's, uh, it's just, it's liquid and it's alcohol. Or it will dry, but it will just dry to where those dots are. So we need, you can sort of get a little bit of movement, moving it around the paper, but you can see it's not gonna do too much on there. It will sort of blend in, but actually we, what we want that to do is to get that to dry a bit. Uh, <laughs> Do I dare ask why Joe is... No, don't ask. <laughs> no, I won't ask. Joe's laughing at me and I don't know why. <laughs> She's in a very giggly mood. I mean, I'm not, you know, it's my first late finish. I, I, I think I'm just a bit giddy, Debbie. <laughs> He'll tell me later. <laughs> so we just put in all these blobs on there. Now, Joe, what I am going to do is I'm going to bring in... I didn't say it. I'm just going to call it rubbing alcohol. There okay. we go. <laughs> That's exactly what it is. So I'm going to bring that in and I'm going to bring in just my um, uh, pipette. God, it is late, isn't it? I can't even get my words out tonight. And all I'm going to do is drop this. Now, if I drop this, can you see it changes? Oh. And you can actually, if I get, I'm going to get some tissue, Joe, because what I'm going to do, we're going to do like a whisping effect. So if I... Whispering? Whisper, whisper. Ooh, look, look at that. And then it just, it blends it all. And you only need, I put too much on, but look how fabulous that goes for that. Um, wow. To get that extra... Um, and then if I just turn that around, you can dry that. But if I just take, I'm not going to put so much in, you just wisp it. And it's called, it's actually called a wisp effect. And it just gives you these really incredible backgrounds. And it looks like I'm using a lot of this, Joe, but you can buy a really big bottle and it's not very expensive at Where all. Where would we get it from? Uh, you can get it from uh, anywhere online. I mean, that's all you can get, buy online at the moment, isn't it? Yeah. It's uh, whatever online. But you get some really unique, uh, different effects on that. So I'm going to dry that off so we can dry that to give us that really sort of different look. So you can really create lots of different looks. And it doesn't take long to dry at all. Brilliant. Uh, lots of people loving this show. Uh, Linda Radcliffe saying she's great to see the re featured on the show. Uh, Monica loves the swash stamps. Tammy saying she loves the new airing time. Uh, Patricia says hi from California. I love Colour Me Happy. Uh, Susan says I really like the new schedule. Hadassah uh, absolutely loved all of her Spectrum Art products. And Helen says I love this technique. It's one of the first things I learned in card making. Uh, Donna saying as well, I love these Colour Me Happy shows. I have learned so much. That looks awesome, Debbie. Yeah, it's amazing what you can do with those. But I'm going to also show, and just a little tip, a tip, which I just did. I put my heat gun too near the paper. Remember, it's plastic. So it actually shrunk that a bit. But another way with doing this is to screw it up then put your inks on and it'll go into all the creases of there. So you can uh, rectify that. So what I'm going to do now, Joe, is bring in another sheet and I am going to cut it in half because I'm going to do two different techniques with just things that you will have in the house. So just household items. So you can use these as backgrounds or you could use them uh, to die cut. So you could actually bring these in and die cut your uh, dies into here. Now what I am going to do, Joe, is I've got myself um, some salt I've actually wrote on the side salt uh, and then I've got some bleach as well now the bleach has just got three drops so three I'm going to turn that around so you can see each one three drops of bleach into my half cup of water uh, and then half a teaspoon of salt I've put into this one and I'm going to use my brush 
Uh, just to, I'm going to use my really old dirty brush on the bleach one. It hasn't got a lot of bleach uh, in there, but I don't want to contaminate it with anything else that I'm doing. And we're just going to wet our paper with the bleach. So just wiping the bleach on the top uh, and making it wet. It's just an alternative to use instead of your, alco your rubbing alcohol. And then we're just going to drop droplets onto the top. Look how they explode. Oh, in that wow. Bleach. That looks awesome. I mean, that's amazing, isn't it? And it is, we've all got household bleach in the house. Just make sure you use it safely. Make sure you do what I've done and write, write on your actual cup what you're using. But it's really effective, Joe. It's a great way of just doing those sort of droplets. And you can overlap them. These are translucent inks, so they look amazing layered up. And you get just different effects on there. It's awesome, isn't it? Yeah. You could just watch it all day. It's one of those things you could really sit and just uh, watch them sort of explode on. And what would you do the with page. these backgrounds, Debbie, once you've done them? So I think uh, you can either die cut them, you can uh, use them as backgrounds, put your... We've got some great sentiment stamps on the show, Joe, which would look amazing with that. So I'm just going to pop that over to one side. I'm going to put it onto a piece of card and just leave that to dry naturally. So pop that onto there and then just use some card just to wipe that up because what you don't want it to do you don't want to contaminate anything else I mean it's a really small amount of bleach so like I say three little droplets you want of bleach um, into your half cup of water now this one is salt Joe so I'm going to get another brush I've made sure that all my salt is diluted in there and how roughly how much did you pop in Debbie sorry Roughly how much did you pop in there? I put uh, half a teaspoon of salt. Half a teaspoon, tiny yeah. amount then? Yeah, just a tiny amount in there. Uh, but it's amazing how it helps to, so you don't actually need the rubbing alcohol. So these work slightly different. Can you see? It almost lets that blob sit, but then it just gives a tiny bit around the edges and it looks really, really cool. I love it. Yeah, so don't feel like you need to, um, that pink is gorgeous, isn't it? Just beautiful, yeah, do not really lovely colour like, combo. Yeah, really gorgeous. So let's just add some blues in there and then we compare the two. But once you let it dry on its own, it dries completely different and it really feels all the different edges. So it's a really lovely way to play. Uh, and what's great about these, you don't actually get messy hands. So anyone that doesn't like messy hands, uh, and it, look at this one, how this is done now. It's looking awesome. amazing around there. So they're all the sorts of bits that we can do with our reinkers. Talk to us again about the paper. Diana's asking, what paper was it you're using, Debbie? So I'm actually using a paper called Upo paper. Joe will spell that for you. Y U P O. <laughs> It's so easy to spell. <laughs> Do you know what, Joe? I'm really good at spelling. Are you? Yeah, no, genuinely. <laughs> genuinely, I am really good. <laughs> Joe's being really mean. I am really good at spelling, but I have to write it down. Okay. I can't spell in my head. You know when someone asks you for oh, a word, okay. I always then have to say, oh, I know how to spell it, but I need to write it to spell See, it. Because in my I head, spell I, myself. In my head, I write it in my head. You so write I'm like. It. In my head, I'm writing, my hand's moving and I'm writing it in my head. I'm imagining myself writing it. It's usually uh, so how I yeah, do it. No, I can't do that because then I doubt myself and think, oh, it's not, that's not how you spell it. And then I still have to write it down. So I just write it down anyway. So uh, there are just a few things that you can do uh, with your reinkers. I'm using Upo paper. So if you type that into your Google search engine, uh, you'll be able to uh, find that on the web. We will have it back in stock soon. We just haven't got it in at the moment. But you can get that from anywhere on the internet. Brilliant. Uh, a couple of people just asking about the recipe again, Barb, for the bleach and for the salt, Debbie. Yep, so um, the salt one is half a cup, so I would say it's sort of half a pint cup, uh, half a cup with uh, half a teaspoon of salt, and the bleach is just three drops. So what I did with the bleach is I took a pipette and just three blop, blop, blops into... <laughs> I don't know why I do these things because when Joe makes me laugh. <laughs> Three plops. Plop, plop, uh, three plop. plop, 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 plop. Just because you, just in case you didn't know how many plops three was, there's three <laughs> plops. I don't know why I did that. <laughs> right, let me just recap what's in there for you. 
very... How much have the stock's gone? Oh, a fifth of the stock has wow. gone. Right, you've got in here the jade green. You have got the bright pink. So these are the colours that you're getting. Uh, you've also got the dusty purple. You've got the orange in there. You're going to receive this one, which is your light green, true blue, and you've also got the lemon yellow in there as well. They are, and it is put together, it's a rainbow of colours that you've got. So you want to be creating those really bright, bold, vibrant backgrounds, then these are definitely uh, the product that are going to allow you to do that. And also, I think something a bit different. I know a lot of you maybe won't have tried uh, alcohol inks in this format. Really, really lovely to try something new. Something else that's proving busy is the Aquatint bundle that we've got on the show for you here. Um, the great thing about these is that you get so much ink in here you get 30 mils of ink in each one of these pots which is awesome let me hold it out the right way there you go uh, you get 30 mils of ink in each one of these pots which is awesome this is the perfect pastels which is one of the most popular ones actually and in here you've got moonstone cosmos and the rose quartz you're going to get the simply said swash sentiments uh, in here as well and also a brilliant cut and emboss folder which is this one just here and you're also going to get the paper and the ink pad and the spritzers in there. So it really is a fantastic starter kit for you if you do want to just dip your toe in. We do have as well, I must say, all of the different aqua tints uh, and sparkle inks available and metallic inks available on the website. Definitely get over there, click that shop the show button and have a look at absolutely everything that is in the show. Craftscompanion.co.uk.com.eu if you want to go over there and have a little look at absolutely everything that we've got for you. So do make sure you pop over there. Um, right, lots of you chat chatting away with me. Uh, Crafty Angie says, uh, Debbie, what would happen if you drag your pokey tool or something through it? Would it look like marble? Oh, a very good idea. Yeah, it'd have to be wet, but yeah, it would absolutely do that. Yeah, that's a brilliant tip. So uh, I like that one. See, we all learn off each other. So I'm going to try that one next time. So uh, yeah, brilliant. Brilliant. Uh, I love it when you all share ideas. I think it's fantastic. Mary Pat says, love, love, love this technique. And Tracy Ross saying, interesting techniques. I had no idea you could use alcohol inks with bleach or salt. Very cool. Uh, Fred says, blop is definitely a scientific measurement for sure. No oh, doubt about it. Oh, thank you. See, we're going to have them with me out there. <laughs> blop. <laughs> right, I want to... <laughs> what was that? <laughs> so, blop. Oh. <laughs> Right, uh, let, let's move on. The sparklings, you're going to get again, you get uh, 30 mils in each of the jars. Uh, I think these are, I think it's, I'm right in saying that the Glitz and Glamour is the all time favourite, is the biggest seller out of all of them. Uh, and it's brilliant because in here you get these three awesome colours, which is fantastic. Now, what you're also going to get is some stamps. You're going to get some silhouette stamps, which are these ones just here. And these create fantastic projects like this, as you can see. You're also going to get the Smile Fancy Font Diet, which is going to produce that for you so it's all about you being able to cut this die cut element and then customizing your own sentiment around it we're going to give you one of our fantastic lang and nickel brushes in there a finesse waterproof ink pad and uh, you're going to get 20 sheets of the premium watercolour pad from Spectrum Noir as well. It is a really comprehensive starter kit for you. £30 if you're in the UK, $40 if you are in the US. Uh, remember also that you're going to be able to use your Club Inspire discount and then you can also use your spend it, save it, craft it. Uh, which I keep wanting to say is called spend more, save more, craft more. That's not what it's called. Uh, anyway, I also need to let you know, gosh, there's so many great things happening in this show today, isn't there? We're giving, as part of National Craft Month, we are giving something away every single day. Look at this absolute bounty of goodies that someone is going to be winning in the next hour and 25 minutes. There is absolutely loads of stuff uh, in here. So much stuff. You're going to get an awesome 12 by 12 luxury paper pad. You have got foil stamp, and foil stamp dies, edibles, stamps, double-sided dies, sentiments and banners, outline dies. Um, we've got card blanks in here for you, cut and emboss folders, two of those, interchangeable dies, stamps, uh, deck, uh, the floral decoupage dies in there, sentiments, and also money can't buy prizes. Oh yeah, two Crafters Companion pin badges. 
I've never seen these before. I've never Debbie's seen Debbie's face, them. I know. Where did they come from? I don't know. Oh, I but want one. We don't know where they're from, oh. but I don't have one. I've asked if I can have one Daddy. and was told no. So, did Ben put it in his pocket? Oh, he was going to take it. He didn't realise it was a fries. Oh, yeah. I think oh. we need a campaign oh, started. Oh, do you, know, do you know how difficult it is? It's really hard. Oh, and also, the illustrators didn't... I mean, I almost... I was um, going to... You know, short change you there. Do you know, it's really hard though to enter, Debbie. It's a very long-winded process. You just comment. That's it, that's all you have to do. Just comment once or a hundred times uh, in the Facebook live feed over on Crafters TV or on the YouTube feed as well. So, so simple. The more times you comment, the more chances you've got to win. Johnny says he's commented, you're not allowed to win, Johnny, I'm afraid, as neither am I. And also, you know, I think, because I'm probably an easy target for bribery, Johnny, I'm not going to be picking either. Uh, our social media superstar will be picking. It's Katie today. It's the lovely Katie will be picking. Why use, uh, Jean's got a question for you, Debbie. She says, why use Yupo paper instead of something like watercolour paper? Uh, because they're alcohol inks. Um, and actually, I can show you. Let's just grab one. What would happen on Nina? Is what I, was, what I kind of had wondered also. Uh, yeah, it would be the same. It would just joke. soak in. It would just soak in. So I'm going to turn a piece of the UPO paper over and we'll put a drop onto both pieces. So if I add this to here, what's going to happen is it will just. Can you see straight away this one? I can't do anything with because it's yeah. just drying so it's not going to go anywhere where this one you can do you can do your techniques with it because it will stay wet to do the techniques this one has practically dried now so uh, there we go that's completely dry so you wouldn't be able to do any techniques onto your watercolor card with it there's awesome. just no techniques that you can do but you would be able to do it with your upo paper well, or I I'd say UPO paper, um, Joe, but honestly, any any surface um, that's not... What about that's acetate? Acetate, yeah, mm -hmm. acetate's perfect. So uh, you'll be able to do it on acetate, onto glossy photo paper. So all those types of things, yeah, you'll be able to do it with. Awesome. Jean, I hope that answers your question. Jane says, I ordered the inks previously. I'm grateful you're showing how to use them again. I've not tried them, but I will this weekend. So thank you. Debbie, uh, keep getting your questions in. Uh, I'd love to as well see anything you've been colouring, you know. Uh, please send us in some pictures. Studio at craftscompanion.co.uk is where you need to send those into. Details are there along the bottom of your screen. Uh, you can send us any of your pictures. That would be wonderful. Uh, no matter what you've been colouring with, we just love to share all the colouring love here on Crafters TV, especially during these Colour Me Happy shows. Right, Debbie, what would you like to share with us next? So we're going to move on to Sparkle Inks. Now, these are some of my faves because I absolutely love a bit of sparkle. I don't mind getting messy. So uh, these are just absolutely beautiful. But I do have to apologise because I've just looked at my inks. I've got them out of our crafty cupboard here and someone's been switching the inks, Joe. So oh, I've no. got a different colour uh, to what should be in here. So, But my demo is done using the correct one so but I'm gonna give it a go because someone may have put it in there for a specific reason now can you see at the bottom here it's quite um, it's quite cloudy at the bottom it's just a bit breaking off there now what you need to do I'm just gonna give that a shake and turn it round all of this is mica not sorry it's not mica uh, it's micro glitter really really ultra fine glitter at the bottom so you have to sort of shake it to wake it Joe so you just there's ball bearings in there. Do you sing any song, specific song or anything when you do it? Uh, no, we need one, I don't we? I quite like shake, 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 senora, shake your body round. Go on then. Shake, 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 senora, shake your body down. I can't sing it, so I have to play. We have oh. to pay uh, the PRS, I'm afraid. <laughs> <laughs> so what you're going to do is just, now you can see I'm circling them just because I don't want to create too many bubbles. Because if you give them a sort of shake, you're going to create loads of bubbles on the top. Not that it really matters, because when you dip your brush into it, um, it will, uh, you can just wipe the bubbles off on the side. So we're just giving them a shake, letting those barbarians go round. And do that every time you're using them. And make sure you've got no cloudy bottom. So you just want it completely clear. You want all that 
uh, ultra fine glitter all around so there we go they're shaken up lovely and then we're just going to do a nice color wash so i'm going to start with our first one i'm going to just dip my brush straight in but what i am going to do is i'm going to just pop some water i'm making sure i've just got normal water here uh, we're just going to wet our card first. I like to do this, Joe, because it just makes the inks go a little bit further. So once I've done that, I'm going to wipe the water off my brush. I'm going to dip straight in and take that colour. And we're just going to pop that Ooh. straight on. I mean, look how beautiful that colour is. So it's vibrant, amazing. isn't it? amazing. Yeah, absolutely vibrant. Uh, then we're going to go down into our purples and our blues. And what I am going to do, you do get a nice little holder to put them in. So make sure you keep them in there and that will save any spillages as well. So popping them all inside. And then I'm gonna just dab off my pink, go into my purple, and then you'll see that beautiful purple oh, color. Gorgeous. I mean, it really is so gorgeous. And then I'm just gonna rinse my brush and I'm gonna go back into that pink because I was opening my lids. I do want to just put a bit more of that pink just to intensify and blend those in. And then what we're going to do is once my brush is rinsed, we're going to go into our blue and look at the, I mean, this is a different color to you get in there, but you'll see the blue, but it's actually creating a two tone effect, which is amazing. Now, because this is still quite wet, what I am going to do with this one is we're going to add some salt to it just to show how it can look really different with a salt technique. So I'm just going to lay some salt all the way over. And we're going to pop that to the side and what we will do we'll take a look at that later on so i'm just going to grab myself a piece of card just to rest that on and then once uh, linda says that, she's loving your demonstrations debbie and uh, myra as well saying lovely demos debbie is so knowledgeable and explain things so clearly doesn't she just oh well thank you very much right this what we've got down on our mat we don't want to waste so what i am going to do is just bring in my uh, spritzer and i'm just going to spritz that with uh, with water and then we're just going to bring our card in so watercolor card that i'm using we're going to just sweep that in and pick that up sweep it in and just pick that up and then sweep that in just picking all of this up just to give us a really beautiful background just so you're not wasting any at all so you can go back in and dab in you can even dry this off and then go back in and you'll create really different effects so I'm just making sure that all of these bits are done. Now, once that's done, Joe, I am going to dry this off a little bit because we're going to do uh, a little bit of faux bleaching as well. So the great thing with doing backgrounds, and you can do so many, I mean, you can still see I've got a little bit of salt in that background. But once you start drying this off, you'll see that all those sort of pink colours are coming through from that background. And then we can also then do a little bit of faux bleaching. So just dry a little bit more off. There we go, that will do. Doesn't have to be completely dry. And all I'm gonna do is put my fingers in the water and flick. And that's all you need to do. We don't need to do anything more fussy than that. But you're still keeping that beautiful sparkle effect in the background. And then going to put a piece of kitchen towel over the top. And then we're just going to take that away. Now look how dramatic that awesome. background now is. And that's out of two. We haven't used any more ink. You could then dip your card into this again and have another one. Uh, and this is the one I've done. So you can see the two different colours uh, than the one that we used that was, that's was that been put in. But this is what you get when you've uh, put in that beautiful um, salt to so get the salt background. And then you can create really gorgeous cards like this one. So you can use them with the stamps, which looks amazing. So really nice uh, technique to do that now I wouldn't normally waste this but as we uh, we're doing demos I am just gonna pick all of this up Ooh, you could, could use you rice tissue 
You could keep the tissue, Joe. And in fact, um, I was looking at a technique which I hadn't seen for a long time. Uh, I'm going to see if I can do it at some point, not today, but in the future, where when you get a really um, highly overcolored tissue from mopping up, you can actually use these uh, on your, there's a technique that you use with floor cleaner and it creates, <laughs> Joe's looking at me like, what? <laughs> uh, and it's, it creates this really amazing, you put it onto acetate mm -hmm. uh, and you- A specific kind of floor cleaner, is it like a specific one? Uh, yeah, I think there is, but it's years ago since I've done it, so I'll have to re-group sort of group and, uh, and try and find it. Uh, someone might know out there, someone might have done it, but it's where you can either use tissue paper or kitchen towel that you've mopped up, using all your inks and glitters, uh, and you put it, and, the, and it dries hard, so the floor cleaner then dries it all hard. So, uh, yeah, so awesome. it's a really good one. So, yes, keep all those uh, tissue papers. <laughs> Brilliant. Don't throw those away then, absolutely no, not. Don't throw those away. Uh, Pam so, uh, wants to know what cards you card stock you're using here with sparklings. Watercolor card. Yeah. Well, I would recommend watercolor card for everything that you um, uh, that you use. That's uh, anything that's liquidy. Anything you're adding water to. Uh, it's the best medium you can use, and the reason being, Joe, it's because it has a really good tooth. And when we say a tooth of a card, it means it has lots to grab hold of without um, without going mushy. You don't want mushy card so the best thing to use is your uh, watercolor cardstock it's just a really great way of, uh, of um, using any of your water mediums whether you're using the aqua tints or the sparkles so I'm just bringing in uh, some different ones here uh, you can also what they're also great for is uh, painting with for doing your um, uh, masking techniques so we can bring it I don't know if we, have we got drawing gum on the show Joe I don't I'm not sure don't if we have think actually we have. I'm not sure we'll just no, it might have, because I think it was sold out before, so we might not have done. So I won't bring that in anyway. But I'm just giving these a shake to show how the difference in these colours. So just bring, I'm doing them all separate, Jo. I can do them all together. So just bringing them round, making sure that all that beautiful ink is in there. I'd love to hear how many people use the, the jars, uh, Jo, and all the pens because okay. we obviously have the aqua tints and the sparkle but it would um ah so we do have um we don't have it on the show but we do have it in stock with the mask yes the drawing so. gum is available over on the website if you would like to grab it so let's just bring these in so the other thing we can do joe is a very similar thing to what we did with the um uh, the reinkers. So if we wet our card, I'm going to change my water. I've got plenty of water down here, so let's change to some clean water. Uh, is the wet on wet technique again? So just wet in the card. Once the card's wet, just make sure you do have plenty of water on there. You can see, Joe. I mean, how wet is that card? I've absolutely soaked that card. It's wet, isn't it? But it still keeps its shape. It's bending because that's a natural reaction that it will do. But it is keeping its shape. But then we can bring in our little um, uh, pipettes and pick up water, and we can do the same thing. We can drop um, our liquids onto there. I mean, how amazing is that? Fantastic, isn't it? Yeah, really lovely. But it's really subtle, this one, because what we're doing is we are... Um, oh, I've done a like little bit... Like fireworks, aren't they? They are like fireworks, yes. But you can see how well all the, these colours really mix together. And then when you let that dry, you just get an a awesome glittery background. Yeah, because they don't really look that glittery when they're wet, do they? No, they don't. So let's dry this one and then we'll be able to see the glitter that's inside because they actually intensify, the glitter intensifies uh, the, more it, uh, you, the more you put on. But what I will do, because we have really wet this cardstock, so we will just have somewhere for that water to go. So lots of people loving this. Uh, Sue says, oh, I have some fancy paper that I use to pick up the ink, then I use it as a background. Joy says she saves the clean-up tissues and kitchen towels, and they work great on collages, apparently, is what she does with them. Um, Hadessa wants to know, what's your favourite inky technique, Debbie? Oh, there's, a, there's one. I actually think it's faux bleaching. 
I love black faux bleaching, yeah. I think I just love every time it looks so different. Uh, so you, it doesn't matter how many times you do exactly the same onto your background, you still get a different one every single time of that faux bleaching, which looks amazing. Right, I'm hoping the camera can pick this up, but look at the sparkle on here, Joe. Oh, wow. I mean, it re look at really that. Really see that. I mean, it really is beautiful. I mean, it's just going to be able to create. So look at that sparkle right throughout. And it is amazing. So because you've shook that and you've got that really even sparkle all the way through, it looks absolutely incredible. So, so many different things that you can do with this. You can use this now to die cut. You can use it to stamp onto. You're going to be able to create so many different things. We've actually got the uh, embossing folders, uh, sorry, the cut and the emboss folders on and I've just done like an eclipse card with this one uh, where you can see that beautiful sparkly background uh, but you've actually you can't really pick now that's dry there we've just got that sparkle in the background using those stamps putting it onto black card and then using them on the top they just look amazing so lots of different things that we can do with those uh, sparkle inks Mm, absolutely a really really versatile let me just share with you the starter kit once again uh, that's available to you uh, which is this one just here in here uh, you're going to get the glitz and glam which is an awesome color collection i think it is i'm pretty right in saying the all-time top selling one uh that one there you're going to get the waterproof ink pad you're going to get the brush in here you're going to get the silhouette stamps as well which will enable you to create awesome projects like this one just here. We're also going to give you the fancy font, it's Smile, uh, that you're getting in this collection. And then you'll also get as well uh, the premium watercolor pad too. You get all of that with a fantastic saving, 30 pounds or $40, uh, 24 pounds or $32 for Club Inspire Platinum members. Remember though, what you're also going to be able to take advantage of is that extra discount uh, that we have got for you spend it save it craft it uh, remember if you are spending 25 uh, you'll save five say so spend 50 you'll save 10 spend uh, 75 uh, you'll save 15 which is absolutely awesome uh, because that works out that's like a that's like it's quite a juicy discount isn't it on 75 uh, on a 75 pounds or dollar spend love that right maybe you've got a lot of the stuff that's already included in the start kit and you want to just go for the inks themselves we've got something for everyone in this show uh, here we've got the inks themselves so you can go for these are the sparkles you can go for the perfect pastel or traditional Christmas we've also got the forest glade and shades of spring they are the options there for you um, they are all absolutely gorgeous i must say we've also got a, a metallic ink starter collection for you on the show you actually get four jars of ink uh, within this one uh, and the value is amazing because the inks on their own should be 24.99 or 39.95 platinum members are spending 24 pounds on this platinum members are only paying for the not even paying for the, the inks and getting everything else let me show you the gorgeous colors that you've got here in these inks so this is what you're going to receive this is the vintage metallics which has the antique bronze the aged copper the tarnished silver and the burnished copper as well you're then going to get a fantastic stamp there for you too which is the floral stamp you get the blending tool and you get the black paper in here as well it is the premium black paper pad uh, and this is awesome because it does show up so beautifully when you use those metallic markers and you get 30 sheets of that as i said platinum members are spending less than the cost of the inks themselves to get absolutely all of it you know and, and in fact it's probably better value even if you already have the extras if you were thinking about going for the inks it's, you're better off just getting the whole the whole starter kit because you're getting all those freebies uh, in there then which is absolutely awesome uh, lots of you are chatting away with me glennis says i would never have known you can do this so glad i found this channel glennis we're glad you found us as well val says i'm loving the show i'm working with my aqua jink aqua um, aqua jink ours aqua ink jars just playing along uh, laura says uh, the bundles are always such a great deal they really are and on today's show they are particularly awesome what we've also got for you is a great blending starter kit available too if you want to go uh, for that so if you did want to get the craft mat the blending tool the spritzers and also the palette you've got a 
over 20% off there, which is great, because core tools like that, you don't often see them discounted. Laurie says the sparkle pots are amazing for backgrounds. I love the sparkle pens to paint with, especially on the Molly Harrison stamps. Oh, so a lot of you maybe got the jars and the pens when it comes to uh, the sparkles. It's completely up to you. I mean, it just depends what your uh, preferred delivery method is, really. Whatever you prefer to work with, then we've got you covered. But great deal on the jars within this show, which is fantastic. I would love to know what your favorite technique is when it comes to our jar dinks. What is the one technique that you love to do? I would say mine, I don't love to do it, but I love to see it done, is a shaving foam technique. I think it's absolutely epic. Um, right, Debbie, I know you've got loads more that you want to share with us, so what would you like to, uh, what, sort of, what are we gonna learn next? So we're gonna go on to the metallics and learn a little bit more about those. So again, uh, they are great little uh, pots of just amazing uh, mica in these ones. So you can see at the bottom, you can see the actual two on here. So the two different, we need to just give them a shake up uh, to, uh, to mix all that mica in with your ink there. And that's gonna give us a fabulous metallic ink, which means we can use them on black card, Joe. So we're gonna do a bit of heat embossing. Uh, what I am gonna do is bring in this thanks one. So we're going to just bring this out and put this onto my platform. So just putting it onto there and then bring in our topping to stamp down. So just making sure that's all down there. Uh, next what I'm going to do, I am using one of my pigment ink pads which is the Jet Black. So we are doing black on black because I want to actually get a black embossed technique going on here. So I'm just rubbing that on. Because it's black I can't really see too well so I'm going to stamp this a couple of times to make sure we've got everything stamped down properly. So putting that in the stamping mat I would say let that settle then just push down into the center and we're just going to stamp all that area bring that up and I can sort of see that but I am going to give that another stamp just to make sure we've got plenty of wet ink on there turn that round and I always like to turn it twice because I like to give that that even stamping again put it into the pegs and let it settle and then push down you will again then get a precision stamp right where you want it on top. Then what we're gonna do, I'm gonna move all this out the way and we're gonna add some embossing powder. Find some room. Let's grab myself a piece of card. Uh, Laurie says the sparkle pot's amazing for backgrounds. I love the pen to paint with. Oh, sorry, I read that one, didn't I? Uh, Rose says her favourite is a shaving foam technique as well. I must admit, I do love heat embossing. I guess that's more of a stamping technique though, isn't it? Yeah, actually, that's a nice technique as well, isn't it? Yeah, it is a really nice. I quite like that. I've got some shaving foam, so I think um, I think Gre um, Greg, <laughs> Craig, not Greg. Um, mm -hmm. I think he left uh, his here. So all I'm going to do is because I can see now. If I did have my, I haven't got my. Um, uh, my kit bag with me which did have all my tools including my um, stamping sorry anti-static bag that's where I'm going uh, to blow all that away because that wouldn't have stuck so much but I'm not too worried about that because the heat tool will uh, blow that away so I'm just going to heat emboss this um, dough and we will awesome. see then that we'll get that beautiful black embossing coming through Brilliant. Sam says she loves, 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 loves the shaving technique as well. Kathy says she loves the foam, shaving foam technique too, and also uh, the bleaching technique. Uh, so she's with you uh, there on that one, Debbie, as well. Uh, we've got the uh, pleasure of Debbie all day tomorrow as well, which is awesome. Uh, so myself and Debbie here with a fantastic... Uh, a fantastic set of shows. We've got a craft along for you uh, tomorrow, which is fantastic. We've also got play your crafts right. Are you ready for that in the morning, Debbie? Well, in the morning, midday oh, here I in the UK. I don't know. Are you very competitive? I don't know, Joe. Are you Sorry? competitive? Are you very competitive? Really, really competitive. Oh, see, I'm not very competitive. You can just let me win, that's fine. I, I, yeah, you can win, you can win. But one of us represents Facebook apparently, and one represents YouTube. So you've got to do it for you've got to do it for your uh, for your team, Debbie. Oh, oh, right, okay. Oh, I see. Right. So I'm representing. Oh, so I've got to find my inner 
competitive. Got to find your inner Olympian. Yeah, absolutely. So what we could do here, Joe, even though this will act as our um, uh, a resist, I want to actually colour with it. So I'm just making sure that I'm getting all that mica moved in. What is the difference between mica and glitter, Debbie? Uh, so glitter is um, uh, it's a synthetic, it's synthetic. Okay. So uh, where mica is. Um, natural. Okay, awesome. Yes. I didn't know that. So you get a lot more, uh, you get colour, a lot of colour. I mean, the sparkle is what it's intended to do. It's intended to make it very sparkly. But your pigment ink means that you've literally got that natural pigment inside, which then allows you, look at this, we can then paint on to our uh, daffodils on here. I mean, look how amazing. Oh, awesome these look they're just beautiful so you want to get yourself some small sort of brushes so you can paint with but you're going to be able to paint directly onto your flower with these and if I bring in another color you can actually work these in together so I'm just shaking that one just bring the top off here and because I'm only using a tiny amount I don't have to worry about contaminating but we're just going to add some detail into those flowers. Just going to just wet my brush. Uh, Deb says she's never seen the black on black, so thank you for showing this, Debbie. Uh, oh, Diane it. says she loves a float, float. Why can't I say it? She loves the faux bleaching technique. That's her favourite. Yeah, and Laura right. loves the salt technique. Laura Jones says the salt technique yes, is I her Yes, I love favorite. the salt. Trouble is, when you go through them, Joe, you then think, oh, actually, I love this one. I love that one. There's so many. It's the best thing about anything that's water-based is that you can colour with it in any sort of way. There's so, so many different techniques, which is amazing. Uh, keep letting me know what your favourite technique is. I'd love to know. Uh, if you want to get in touch with me, if you've got any questions as well, don't forget you can uh, pop those over to me over on Facebook, Crafters TV, uh, or Crafters Companion on YouTube, and that is where uh, you can drop into the live feed there and let me know. Uh, any questions that you'd like me to pop across to Debbie? Uh, but it is, it's nice to have a sort of jarred ink show, isn't it? It's a bit different, Debbie. Nice to have all of them on at the same time so we can really see how they all work side by side. Totally. And actually, I have to say that the bundles that we've got on, if you've never tried any, uh, they are great bundles to have a try with them with. Um, and it's exactly right what we're saying with your... Um, uh, you know buy and craft because you're going to be able to do so many different techniques and I'm only going to be showing a handful throughout the show Joe when you go on to the internet and onto Pinterest and onto our website there are so many different techniques that you can use um, that will just really make you look so professional in what you're doing because actually I'm no artist I'm definitely no professional when it comes to uh, painting but these make you into that they make you um, feel like you're actually a good artist um, they help you to pretend Joe I think is, uh, <laughs> is what it is and you just need a bit of a steady hand and actually I'm quite impressed with myself that I'm doing this without my glasses on so um, I need it and every time I do a bit of coloring I know my glasses are right near me yeah but it's because it's so hot in the studio um, that my nose keeps... He's steaming up. Yeah, it keeps sweating and then they fall down my nose. Oh, no. <laughs> we need to get you some, like, some goggles for when you're crafting. <laughs> yeah, so um, they just keep falling down. And because I'm looking down, I, they're no good for... Um, I need to get myself some glasses that, um, that don't, don't cause my nose to sweat. Just, just sweat. <laughs> wow. I get a sweaty nose. Maybe we could just put a little plaster on there for you. It's not a nose. It's like here on the side. I can feel it. I get. It. I think it's it's women of a certain age, Joe. That's oh, okay. what it is. Yeah. So, and I get it round here. So, um, yeah. Well, which I've, is I've not got good. my. Uh, finally, I wasn't able to get a lens check in March, Debbie, when I was meant to get my lenses done because obviously, you know, uh, Lockie D. Uh, and then was meant to get it done in uh, November. Cancelled again. I finally got lenses. So I think tomorrow I might come to work with my lenses on. It's Ooh, gonna. I'm yeah. just. It's gonna be such a novelty. I will not steam up for the first time in. Months. Yeah, that would be very good. 
Uh, Joyce Miller says, uh, I love the technique of using sparkling inks in water with dish liquid in, and then you blow it with a straw to create bubbles, bubbles and yes. then layer your paper on top of the bubbles. Uh, it leaves beautiful prints. I haven't done that prints. for years. I, I've done that before. Yeah, I haven't done that for years. So there you go. It didn't take long. And we've actually managed to, to paint all of those flowers all around there. And it beautiful. just makes them look absolutely gorgeous. And I've just done a finished card. So I will just bring in my finished card on that one. Oh, it's buried Joe, I've buried my card. Hang on, I'm gonna have to put that down to find my card. Here we go. And then I'm just gonna, and I've just done a bit one on a jaunty angle there, but you can see we actually then pop that thanks on the inside there. Beautiful. Yeah, and you can flick, and I didn't flick actually Joe. but actually let me show that just before we do anything else. Uh, let me just get my brush. This is a really nice technique. Uh, what you could do is grab yourself another brush and then you just flick, let me just wet both brushes. You would then just flick your, um, there we go. Oh. And then when that dries, it will dry on there, just like that card. Although I've done that in the silver, you get like a silver colour one in there. And you can see the silver in there uh, in the background. Nice, That's Debbie, a really love nice that. really nice technique just to do that flicking with. Uh, Catherine Baker would like to know which of our, uh, which of our inks or pens will work on glass, Debbie? Uh, so, um, the metallic pens, I've got one just down here. So, like the metallic, you could paint these metallics onto uh, glass. They oh, would really? go, yep, they would go onto glass. Your metallic pens would go onto glass and your um, uh, re inkers. So, your re inkers, if you're good at painting, you could paint these onto glass or you can use your alcohol markers. And alcohol really? Markers. Yep. Okay, loads of options then there for you, there. Catherine. They wouldn't be washable though, Joe. so you'd have to be careful when you're washing them. Um, your alcohol ones will probably be okay, but in the dish, they wouldn't be dishwasher proof. So. Awesome. Uh, Catherine says, Joe, uh, sorry, did that one. Helen says, are the re-inkers re different to the pots of ink, Debbie? Are the re-inkers different to the pots of it? Mm. Yes, yes, because they're alcohol. Uh, they're alcohol based. All the pots that were shown on the show are water based, which means you can do all your different uh, watercolour mediums. A anything that you find that are watercolour tutorials, you'll be able to use them for. But the re-inkers are alcohol, so uh, there's a lot of differences in, in those two. Uh, and definitely research them. If you've got both, there's different things and really awesome things that you can do with both. They're amazing. Awesome. Right, let me just recap what's in there for you in that starter kit. So you get the metallic inks, which are these ones here. You've got the antique bronze, the aged copper, the tarnished silver, and the burnished copper. You're also going to get the stamps in there as well, which are fantastic. You've got the hello stamp there for you. You're going to get the black cardstock, and you're also going to get that blending tool included in there as well. You get all of that for £30 or $40. As I said earlier, the metallic markers, the, sorry, the metallic um, pots should be $24.99 or $39.95. In the US, it's just the cost of the ink to get you the whole starter kit, which is brilliant, brilliant value for money. Now, in one of the earlier, in the Sparkle, um, in the Sparkle starter kit, I showed you the fancy fonts. Now, if you think, well, I've got lots of sparklings, but I would love to just maybe go for a great collection of the fancy fonts, and we've got those on the show for you. So what you're going to get is a die that's going to cut the central uh, element just here. So that's going to be your sentiment. And then what you've got are loads of stamps that you can put around that so for friend you've got reaches for your hand and touches your heart it's hard to find a truly great and then of course you've got all of those different ones for the different themes so special sorry uh, sympathy you're also getting celebrate and thanks in there I don't remember seeing uh, such a large collection of these. I also don't recall seeing them at anywhere near this price. You're spending £16, saving $31.92, $22 saving you $41.60. So you're looking at a, a, a saving twice as much as your spending situation. Don't forget as well uh, that you can, of course, uh, when you're spending over uh, £25 or dollars, you're going to get that extra £5 or dollars off and you can use your Club Inspire discount. So triple discounting is what we're allowing you to do here during this Colour Me Happy show with um, uh, lots of our Spectrum Noir products and lots of our dies and stamps as well. 
Now, loads of you still chatting away. Eve B says she loves the splatter technique. Uh, Carla says, what an amazing technique. I didn't understand where this was going at first, but then it just came together and it's so gorgeous. Susan says she loves it on the black cardstock. It has such a regal look. It really, really does. Uh, still very, very busy across a whole host of different products. We must go back to the Aquatints because they are also very busy. Uh, and what you're going to get in here is you're going to get the perfect pastels within this collection. Again, one of our all time most popular Aquatint color families. You've also got in here as well, the swash stamps. You've got the simply swash stamps, sentiment, sorry. Uh, you've also got a cut and emboss folder in there, which is the love one uh, that you can see just here, which is absolutely fantastic. So do make sure you get that. And then what you're also getting is the spritzers, you're getting the correct ink pad that you need to use with those aqua tints and you're getting that watercolor cardstock there as well again another fabulous value bundle uh love those stamps uh, says diane i have the entire set don't forget as well that someone is going to be winning this gorgeous oh this gorgeous bundle of loveliness so in here you have got so many uh caring thoughts signature items this is the current signature launch so all of those awesome items from caring thoughts you've also got caring thoughts card blanks and a luxury card pad you have got some spectrum noir illustrators in here uh, you've also got double-sided dies stamps and dies outline dies floral stamps edibles sorry credit cards and stamp uh, foil stamp and dies foil, foil stamp dies all of that and money can't buy prizes as well we've also got some crafters companion pin badges going in here for you as well how awesome are they i think they're absolutely fantastic we've never seen them before brilliant that you've got those in there too all you need to do is comment before uh, between now and the end of the show we'll pick a winner at rat well, i say we'll pick a winner at random katie our social media superstar for the show will pick a winner at the end of the show uh, which is awesome and all you need to do is enter it to enter is comment whether you do that on crafters tv on facebook or crafts companion on youtube uh, we will pop you into the draw which is fantastic right debbie uh, still a whole hour of inspiration less left what would you like to share with us next uh, yeah definitely we do have so much to get through so we're going to bring in the aqua tint so the whole difference with these is that they don't have sparkle in them they don't have metallics in them these are just our pure gorgeous colored inks so anything that you will find in our aqua tint pens you will find in these gorgeous little pots you don't even have to shake these because there's nothing in them uh, to wake them up because the whole ink pot is just full of delicious color uh, i really love the colorways that we've got here so the first one i'm going to be using is the vintage chic so we've got our sage our fig and our peony so if you like your really sort of vintagey colors you're going to love these ones because they're so beautiful so we're just going to open the tops of our pots up oh, they're a bit uh, stiff there we go take that one off then our purple one a nice fig colour, that's beautiful. And there we go, our peony. So taking our inks, uh, ink pots off, you can see I'm always leaving them in there. You do get two. So actually what's really good about these is you get one to stand your pots in, you get one when they're packaged on the top, but it actually means you've got your own little ink tray as well. Uh, but we do have a, uh, a really good deal on at the moment with these uh, palettes. And I love the palettes, Joe, because sometimes the palettes are really nice just to be able to take your inks and put your colour into them because you might want to blend them with something else you might want to do other things with them you might not want to contaminate and what's really good about this is with your pipettes you do get pipettes with these as well um, you can suck all your ink back up just making sure I put that back in the right one so you never waste any but what it does mean is that you can so you can see I've more or less took all that ink back up so you're not going to waste any of your ink by putting it into these dishes so these are really worth having uh, and also if you want to not that it matters because your glass mat is designed to put your inks on so if we wanted to just come in I'm just going to do um, maybe a splodgy technique so let's just take some of our our inks and drop it onto our um, is that the technical term for it what splodgy, splodgy. yeah it's like splodgy we've had splodge nice, um, and plop 
so Plop, far. splodge, I'm sure I'll think of many more, Joe. Smush. <laughs> Smush. Yep, yeah, smooshing. There is a smooshing technique actually, which is which is pretty much what I'm doing now, where they call it smooshing. Uh, and that is a, a proper technical term. But I'm going to put this just on to here. And all we're going to do is we're going to smoosh it onto our cardstock. Um, this wasn't even what I was intending, Joe, but I just thought while I was here and showing the palette, we would just... Going rogue, it. Debbie, going rogue. So I've just got a piece of watercolour card and we're just going to pop that straight over the top and then pull it out. I mean, look at that. It's given us such beautiful, dark, rich colours there, which look amazing. Very now, grungy, You can that keep one. picking these up. The more you pick them up, the more it will just give you uh, different colours, different colourways. But these are really, really... I mean, you can, they're just packed with colour. So you can see each time you lay down. Uh, and when you... What I really like, Joe, is layering these colours. So once you've uh, layered it, you can then go back in and keep picking up up different ones so you're creating all these different colors uh, with this look but what I'm going to do with this one why it is still wet and I'm going to give it a bit of a spritz in uh, oh and that's just reminding me what else we can do with them as well Joe. so I'm going to also drop in some extra color so I'm going to pick some of this pink up and just make sure that we drop color in because I want to show you a really cool technique using Da, da, da. So I'm just screwed up um, clean film. Wow. Yeah, so that's all we're going to do is just, I don't need this amount, so in fact we can just put that in half. And all I'm going to do is put this over the top, and what that will do, it will add all these crinkles and it will become set like that so you'll get all these different effects that's so really i'm gonna cool. just yeah i'm just gonna leave that and then we're hopefully that'll try because that's best to be left until uh, it dries naturally so we're going to leave that for a little while so i'm going to pop that over here with my salt technique as susan was asking can you use the water-based inks on the upo paper uh, to create similar things than you did as you did with the alcohol inkers no on the because UFO. with um you need something to for the um uh, for water-based products you need something to, for them to grab into they have to have a tooth in the card you have no tooth in a um in the upo paper because it's just smooth and slippery so it was it would just stay wet the whole time you wouldn't be able to dry it on that and if it did dry it wouldn't look anything it would just discolor the the, the upo paper so no, you would definitely need uh, a different, you, you would definitely need watercolour card or stamping card. That's a really nice one to, um, to do as well. So, awesome. um, so what I was going to do now, Jo, I'm just going to bring in some extra card and we're just going to show, I've just bought this, I've stamped this again. So as I already had it on my stamping block, uh, I do have different, you'll see there's different ones on the show. But this time I've done it with my flagstone and I've done it with my waterproof dye because it means I can just do a background wash with these. So I'm going to bring in some different colours. Let's go to our next set that we've got on. So just put in the lids back on so I don't spill. I have had an accident with a pot of glitter uh, one before, Joe, by not putting it back into the little rack and it went everywhere. Oh no, yes. uh, you, on you? Yeah, absolutely. It just literally went absolutely everywhere. Yep. Yep, everywhere. You'll see my, these are brand new, these. Well, I don't like opening new things, but Why? I'm sure I did get, oh, I always I, feel like there might be. I love um, a box fresh anything, me. Do you? Mm. Yeah, I always feel like there must be one open. Someone must have used these colours before, surely. So then it makes me feel really bad that I'm opening a new one. So, Right, so just opening those up. The good thing is with these, like I say, you don't have to um, shake them at all. They're ready to go as soon as you get them. And what uh, watercolours do, Joe? they just add to the fun of being able to paint with so many different designs. So I'm going to just wash my brush out and I'm just going to dip straight in here. But what we are going to do, we're going to just paint down each of the letters. So we're just going to give that a wash. And then I'm going to go back in because I'm going to just then go into a different colour. And I'm wiping the excess off because we don't want too much extra colour. We're going to come down with a different colour and it gives a just a totally different look. 
I do I do love to um, to do some different different effects that's worked out really well that has with the three so I'm gonna then lovely take color the way blue these. again yeah they're gorgeous this one isn't it really really beautiful and there's uh, nothing skilled about this Joe this is the nicest thing you know we we don't want it's nice to have things that make you feel like you're doing skilled work but actually all you need is your cardstock a stamp set and your aquatint and you're ready to go yeah, as simple as that. Uh, Diane says, loving all the demos, learning so much, Debbie. Uh, Kim says, I uh, have some sparkling pots and never know what to do with them. You have inspired me to use them. Lynn says, also, I love Colour Me Happy. Uh, these shows help to give me confidence to explore my artistic side. Yes, and make you happy. I think colours do make you happy, don't they? So let's show those. So I've done these in a really sort of muted tone, but look how fabulous that looks now, Joe. And I'm gonna bring in, I do have a finished sample, which I've done in different inks, so it looks a little bit different, but actually I'm quite liking, uh, that oh, looks nice. more water coloured. Um, I've sort of mixed that more with water, uh, but I'm actually quite liking that, just having all those different colours going down there. Just so many different things that we can do with them. Yes, absolutely. Do not miss out on these. They are absolutely fantastic. You are going to adore them, I am sure. Uh, lots of you have been sending pictures into us, which is always lovely. Let's share some of those um, because we love it when you send in your creations. Send them to me if you'd like to studio at craftscompanion.co.uk. Melissa has been doing the shaving foam. Oh, it looks awesome, Debbie, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, doesn't that look amazing? Really amazing. Love that. So, so great. Love this technique. Um, we'll be seeing this a little bit later in the show, Debbie. We could do that next if you want, Joe. Fabulous. Yeah. That sounds like a plan. Uh, the lovely Joy in New York sent these into us as well using her aquatint. I think they're fantastic. So cutting die cut pieces there and then uh, laying them onto a project. I think it's another awesome now that's, thing. And, and actually, I have to say, that's now just made me think that is one of my favourite things to do. I love collecting all the backgrounds and then cutting. Oh, that's why it's leaked. Didn't put the lid on. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, have you spilled it? I was, I was oh, thinking, what are you like? I, was, I didn't put the lid on. You just put it in, the, is it, can you show us the inside of the box? I just put it in. I was like, oh, where did that all come from? <laughs> what are you like? Right, I think we'd better give you a chance to get yourself cleaned up, hadn't we, Debbie? Uh, let's just take a moment, give you a chance to check out your basket as well. Uh, whilst you do that, let's share with you all the details of Club Inspire. Welcome to Club Inspire, our free loyalty club. As a member of the club, you can save up to 20% every time you shop with us. For every pound you spend, whether it's in one of our stores or on our website, you'll collect one loyalty point. The more points you have, the more benefits you'll receive. As a welcome present, we'll give you 20% discount with your very first order. Once you place your first order, you'll be given 250 points straight away, making you a bronze member. This will mean that you'll receive a 5% discount on all of your purchases until the end of the next calendar year, plus priority postage. 500 points takes you up to silver membership, where you'll get 10% discount, plus free shipping when you spend over £20. When you get to 750 points, you'll become a gold member, which gets you a whopping 15% discount on every order, and will ship them to you completely free, no matter how big or small they are. Spend over £25 and we'll send them to you via our premium next day delivery carrier service. When you reach 1500 points, you'll become a Platinum member, giving you the same shipping benefits as a Gold member, but with the added bonus of a massive 20% discount on all of your purchases. Now on top of that, you'll receive exclusive discounts, sneak peeks of brand new products, special offers and money saving vouchers. You'll have access to an exclusive secret Facebook group to meet like-minded friends, to find out information first and to be inspired by all the crafty makes. We'll send you a completely free quarterly ditchy mag direct into your inbox, giving you lots of hints, tips, inspiration, additional offers and some sneaky behind the scenes gossip from the team. So what are you waiting for? Become a member of our club today. 
all the details there of club inspire a fantastic club uh, and the key is of course unlocking all of those deeper discounts for you we're going to just go back and have a little look now at the reinkers because they are so incredibly busy we don't get to see these anywhere near enough here on crafters tv quarter of the stock has already gone in here you're going to get the true blue the uh deep dusty purple you're going to get the orange you've got the pink you've also got your uh, green in there two different greens you've got your light green your jade green and you've got your lemon yellow as well you get all of those which is brilliant so seven of there those in there for 35 pounds 94 or 47.70 which is brilliant remember take advantage of that extra uh, saving spend it save it craft it i can't believe i still haven't managed to remember that after an entire day johnny digging me out of a hole there every time thanks for that johnny <laughs> uh, spend 25 save 5 spend 50 save uh, 10 spend 75 save 15 of course absolutely everything you need to make sure it's after your club inspired discount has come off so uh, if you spent 100 pounds for instance we take 20 pounds off for your club inspired discount and we take another five pounds 15 pounds off after that as well which is fabulous value for money isn't it absolutely uh, right debbie without further ado so many people in the comments are really really excited uh, to see you uh, do the shaving phone technique yeah it's one of those things that um uh you don't sort of really um see very often and the reason being because it's a bit mucky joe uh but it's great fun so a lot of people i know have a little box a little container you can have just a little plastic dish you get those little chinese takeaway dishes that you can have you could do them in there then it saves a lot of the mess uh, and also it doesn't matter whether you use a cheap shaving foam to an expensive one so don't you know just go to one of those 99p stalls and and get yourself a cheap one because it actually doesn't matter and you're just going to throw it away so for this technique it's a really great one uh, now this mat is going to come into its own this is brilliant because it's washable you can literally do it on here if you wanted to you can then just rinse it under the tap and it's all gone your mess is all gone in one go so all i'm going to do you're going to you need quite a big so it could be a case that this is being used oh that comes out now Nice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't because I need the toilet. <laughs> oh, sorry, just oh dear. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> Joe, <laughs> <Just> stop it! <laughs> stop it! Oh my goodness! <laughs> right, okay. Right. Yeah, any shaving foam will do then, yeah? Any shaving foam will do. It's maybe not, she it can, looks maybe lovely! Maybe she can give it a bit of a shake like first. That. Shake, shake, <laughs> shake your body. <laughs> <laughs> Don't even <forget. laughs> Joe, this is getting a bit of habit. <laughs> right, do a pull up. I don't know why it was so funny, but it really tickled me. <laughs> I can't even see. I can't see. <laughs> right, okay. So, what um, ink are you going to use for this? Okay, right, what we're going to use, I was going to use the re inkers. But I don't think this is going to work properly because they don't <laughs> blend like watercolours do. Um, because when you put them on, Joe, they'll just end up splodging. Um, have we done splodging, in other words? Splodging? <laughs> splodging, yeah, splodging. We've got splodging in there. Uh, it will just splodge onto the UPO paper. So we're going to bring in our inks. I'm going to go back to our gorgeous glitz and glamour. Uh, and then we're just going to use them uh, out of here. And actually, Joe, I've never used sparkle inks on here. It's um, Craig done sparkling on his I think um, Debbie might have done it with the sparkling Debbie links. might have done mm. them yeah so I'm sure you can get that sort of effect on there but basically what you really want to do with your inks uh, is create just a pretty pattern um, which just looks fabulous uh, so anyone that's not tried this technique uh, it is really nice and easy so we're just going to pick our inks up and then I'm just going to put a line running through over the top and it doesn't actually matter where it goes on there because what you're going to do is you're going to use either your pokey tool or even your um oh, pipette my words are going tonight 
and then we're going to pick up the blue and just put it in the gaps where you haven't got any. I can see that sparkle on there, so I can't see any reason why the sparkle is not going to come up there. Then we're going to do just a little bit of purple because the purple is quite a strong colour. So we won't put no more of that. And then I'm going to just bring in my pokey tool uh, and we're going to run those darker colours through, jo uh, through Joe. So right. if you just bring them down. Can you see? It's just making that really pretty pattern. Just going through. And you can do it any way you want. You can keep mixing until you get that sort of unique pattern that you want. And you never know what you're going to get. You'll get that sort of different every single time. And then all you're going to do is bring in your watercolour card. Let's just bring in this smaller bit. You're just going to place it on the top and just press down. And what's great about this, Joe, this isn't just one applicator that you're going to get off of here. Your application you're going to get, you're going to get, um, you know, a few different ones. So just push that down. And as you take that off, You've got a really Whoa. gorgeous mess. A gorgeous How gorgeous mess. is that? Yeah, a really gorgeous mess. But what you are going to do, now because I've got my glass mat, I am going to just put my um, lids on So and remember to put them on this time. I've got beautiful hands that really match my top at the moment, haven't I? <laughs> so pop them to the side. And then I can move this forward and bring this one on. And then what I'm going to do is grab my, I just had it, what did I do with it? There it is right in front of me. So I'm bringing in my ruler and all I'm going to do is scrape this away. And you get that really gorgeous design on your paper. Wow. And you'll get something different every single time, which looks amazing. So if I put another piece in, just so we don't waste any of that foam. And you could keep doing this until your colour, oh, <laughs> let's pull that away there. And we, you'll get a different piece every single time. So as long, oh, look at that one. That looks amazing. Oh, yes, Debbie, yeah, love that. really amazing. So lots of gorgeous, that looks almost like a butterfly that you've got in there. And do you know what I'm going to do, Joe? I'm going to actually use, I'm going to use these papers and I'm going to die cut some of the words. Awesome. We've got those fancy font words. So I'm going to die cut them out of there uh, and just create some uh, different pieces of card. And I'm going to do one more just because we've still got that in there. And just to show you, and you can still just keep going because you'll get those beautiful muted colours each time that you use it. Oh, one. I love how it doesn't look much sometimes, and then you remove it, and then it looks loads of ink under there. Yeah, just loads. You just get loads on there. And really, we haven't used, what did I use? Half a pipette of each colour? That's not a lot of ink, and you're getting all these gorgeous backgrounds. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, a lot of these are really loving. Uh, this look seems easy. Uh, <laughs> Diane says, always so much laughter when you two are together. Marge says, oh my goodness, I can't stop laughing. What's going on? You two are adorable. <laughs> Debbie's laugh is contagious. Debbie's giggle is too much, says Elizabeth. Mandy says, loving this technique, you're both so funny. It's so, definitely all your fault, according to the comments, Debbie, is all I'd say. Oh, my fault? Yeah, 100%. Why is it uh, my fault? <laughs> so what inks can we do this with then, Debbie? What, what, sorry? What inks can we do achieve that with, that technique? Uh, so watercoloured inks, yes. We did give it a quick try, and if I, if I bring this in, a quick try and foul before we showed that other one so you can see all it's i mean that's actually quite a nice background if you put a sentiment through that add some flowers but to be honest uh, you could get a better um lay down of this on your upay paper without using your shaving foam awesome uh, so uh, your sparkle inks your aqua tints your metallic ones can do it with those as well debbie your metal yeah absolutely i've never yeah. done it with metallic that would be a good one joe mm, mm. absolutely so give yeah. it a go with all of them it's such an awesome technique and it's so so much fun as well let me share with you a couple of other bits that are in the show as i always say definitely get across to the website and have a look at everything in the show because um, there's so so much in the show that we won't even get to live a lot of the time 
35 pounds or 41 dollars five sentiments here i love these they're perfect for batch making they are also wonderful for cutting and embossing into things like your inky background 31 pounds 35 pounds or 41 dollars to get those we've also then got the silhouettes for you on the show and they are a sparkling collection of stamps these were designed to work specifically with the sparklings i think they also work great with things like your pigment ink pads if you want to heat emboss those as well six collections there saving over 30 percent 19.96 or 26 780 is your price on that one we've also got the swash stamps for you as well a uh, four-piece collection here 1497 or 2085 great for planning great for bullet journaling great for those really kind of um but I want to say plainer, but that's not what I'm going for more minimalist smaller cards that seem to be very popular at the moment these are great for those we've got the fancy fonts for you as well eight a collection of eight here. hang on a minute are we having a laugh so it's two pounds per set of, of, of these set fancy fonts. That's, that's, well, that's, that's bonkers, Johnny. Uh, we've also got these on the show for you as well. And a great deal on these too, at a half price deal on the floral words for you. Hello, mum. Enjoy, friend, sister, sorry, thanks. Congrats. <laughs> Sounds like you can almost have some sort of game there with those, doesn't it? I think that might be fun. Um, Joe says, I just love doing this technique. Every reveal is better than the last. Uh, talking about that shaving foam technique. I believe we're going to go back to the reinkers next. So let me just share these with you. Uh, and again, these are apps. What are you giggling about over there? Hang on a minute. We've got to see what's going on now. What's happened? <laughs> well, I was cleaning my pat, my, my mat. <laughs> And then I dropped it back all in there, and then it's gone all over my jeans, it's gone everywhere. <laughs> what are you like? Honestly. <laughs> I'm uh, trying to get clean and tidy, Joe. Well, at least you've got very nicely coloured, shiny jeans now, anyway. Uh, <laughs> right, let me take you through what you're getting. So you're going to get the light green four, you're going to get the um, bright pink six, uh, true blue four, the jade green that is jade green i'm guessing the shade green two you get the lemon yellow two the orange one and also the dusty purple three as well it basically are all the colors that you need in here to do rainbows which i mean yes please sign me up 35.94 or 47.70 if you want to grab them um they, we haven't had them in stock for such a long time so it's so lovely to have them uh, there's a load of other colors that are all available also uh, go over to the website for those so if you've got particular um colors that you want to um refill of your alcohol markers go check there platinum members can get these today for 28.75 or 30 816 which is an awesome awesome price when you consider uh, the whole host of different techniques that you're able to achieve with these lots of you still chatting away with me uh, Joe says uh, how much she was loving that shaving foam technique there as well um, lots of you are uh, still chatting away any questions that you've got please get them in I know you're probably gonna have more questions uh, once you see uh, Debbie's next demonstration uh, because it's gonna be they're all gonna be absolutely uh, fabulous techniques <laughs> I'm just waiting for her to tidy up and uh, <laughs> I think it's a good, she's just, uh, she's just got her jeans off now, she's just washing them uh, in this, she isn't really, she really isn't, can you imagine you go there, uh, she's got a mangle out, she's trying to put it through the Gemini, <laughs> uh, don't do that, you will break your Gemini, do not put your washing through it, uh, right, alcohol ink is in, for anyone maybe that's joined us uh, towards the end of the show or in the last quarter of this show Debbie, what are our alcohol inkers, how are we going to use them uh, and what sort of things can we put them on? Yeah, so let's have a bit of a recap. So the little alcohol reinkers come in little bottles and they have your little plunger on there. The reason these were made in the first place was to reink your classics. So your classic pens, your illustrator pens, uh, and all you do is you take your, it's got a pipette inside it. So you have one, you press it and collect all that ink inside there. So what you would then do is you would take your alcohol pen. Uh, now these are alcohol so they are they're not nothing to do with water coloring they are your alcohol pens I've lost my little bit of plastic but we can just bring in a piece of tissue and I'm just gonna then take out the inside so when you take out your little nib there all you're gonna do to refill is if your 
pen is fairly empty, you are going to need, uh, I would say roughly about three pipettes full. So I'm filling that again just with one. I'd already put one in, but my ink is quite full. And then I'm going to just pop that back in. But that is how, and that's why they're called reinkers because you reink uh, your pen. So it's as simple as that. But the reinkers have so many different ways that you can use them. What you have to remember, because they're alcohol, you can only use them on anything that's non-porous. So anything that's glass, uh, anything that is uh, like a photo glossy paper. Uh, what I have got is uh, some paper called Upo paper. Now Upo paper is a synthetic material. It's called Upo because it's just made by a company called Upo. So uh, we don't make it, but we do sell it, but we've run out at the moment, so we are out of stock but we are getting some more in if you can wait if you can't just go on the website and you'll be able to uh, uh, get some UPO paper but if not you could use acetate you could use and in fact I think we will because we do have acetate let's see if we've got any in our little pot under here and see if we've got any acetate yes we have let's do it on acetate uh, because it will work just as well because it's, it's uh, see-through and it's non-porous so because it's non-porous, we can then drop our inks onto here. There are certain things on the market that you would need. So I am using, uh, let me just grab it. It's uh, ISO, I never can say it right. ISO Propan, pan, I can't say it again, Joe. Like, why do I, I get it after a while. Isopropanol, that's the one, isopropanol, yes. So uh, it's one of those really difficult ones until you know you say it and then you can just say it all the time and then I forget it. So, but you can buy that again on the internet. And all it is is it, mine is uh, they say about ninety-seven percent alcohol content. Uh, a lot of people I've known, Joe, have been using their alcohol cleaners, their hand sanitizers. Oh, really? Because a lot of them have a high content of alcohol because it's just a cleaner, isn't it? So mm. um, that's they've been using that. So that could work as well. Um, I've also got some. Was salt. isopropanol the thing that you couldn't get during the first lockdown because everyone yes. was making yeah, hand yeah, sanitizer yeah. That's out it. of it? You couldn't get it. Is that the one? Yeah. Yes, because people were making hand sanitizers. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so yes, yeah, so you can buy them. So lots of different things. But if you don't have that, there are other things that work well with it that a lot of people don't know. So bleach is one of them. Now you really don't need a lot of bleach and obviously pre please be cautious when using it but all I put into here is three little drops of bleach so if I just I, I, that up, I hope so you haven't got any hand modeling gigs coming up tomorrow Debbie you know <laughs> <laughs> So you want just three little three drops. I mean, that would come out of, of bleach. Plop, plop, plop. So three, three. <laughs> three. <laughs> making me laugh today. Uh, I mean, literally, uh, it's normally me, I'll grant it, but today I'm not bringing the lulls. It is Debbie bringing the lulls it's today, not, I assure because you. because you're, you're giggling in the corner. See, I can't giggle quietly, Joe. You giggle quietly. So I think that's a little bit unfair. I just can't help but giggle. I am a giggler, though, you know, Joe. I know. Well, we've worked that out. I mean, if we didn't know it before this show, I think we we get we got it. We got it. What is she doing to your head? Sorry? I was doing my hair. I was because look, if I don't do it, Debbie, look what happened. Look, I look like Mr. Bubbles from Chessington World of Adventures. Stay of it. I look like Boris Johnson. So I have to keep, I have to keep redoing it at all points during the show. Otherwise, it looks like I've got a family of you know ravens living in there or something. Okay, so everybody has household bleach in their house. Three drops into half a cup of water. If you want to use salt, you can use salted water and that's half a teaspoon into half a cup of water and that's all you need. So what I am gonna do is we're gonna use drops. What I'm gonna do with the bleach first of all is I have uh, my brush down here, which is just for my bleach. And I'm gonna use that and we're gonna wash that. What I'm gonna do first of all, Joe, as well, is put a piece of card underneath so you can actually see or I can actually see where we're putting it as well and I'm just going to uh, put the bleach over this side and what you then will be able to see is when you do droplets over here 
probably not picked up the right colour being orange because, um, oh, you Ooh. can still see it, which is good, but look how it just explodes. And that's the salt water or the bleach, that one? This is the bleach. Awesome. Yeah, so the bleach actually works better than the salt water. Uh, it just depends what look you want, but you this will shift, your bleach will shift, but it will help it to separate. Um, it, you get more of a sort of spidery effect with the, uh, what we can do, Joe, is show it both next to each other. So I'm going to pop the bleach to one side and then I'm going to bring in the salt water. So I'm just going to dip my brush into the salt water and then just paint on this side. So it doesn't go anywhere because I'm just wetting it because it's, um, it's not soaking up at all. Let's use some different colours. But it is a really nice way of being able to move that around. So can you see it almost takes that splatter of the colour around it. I mean, it looks pretty cool, doesn't it? Just really Why does it ways. remind me of tadpoles for some tadpoles, reason? There's something yeah. about it, I don't know why. Yeah, so where that's now moving around the water, we're getting those different effects. Yeah, which are quite really cool ways to do things. And then when you leave it to then dry, you get really amazing backgrounds. So I can see my that's starting to dry now. But what's good about that, Joe, is if I then I'm going to bring in my pipettes and we can start moving that around. So if I just bring a pipette, pip, pet into the salt water if I then spray it will just start to move that again and it will just create those different backgrounds and then you could even bring in let me bring in my um, tool so we've got our um, uh, ink applicators you can then start so what I am going to do is just put some salt water onto there and then we can start moving that around Ooh, and that will love create this. a completely different look. It just mushes it around. And that's unbelievable that salt can do that, isn't it? Mm. But what it doesn't do, where salt with normal watercolours would dilute the colour, it actually doesn't dilute the colour, it just gives you a completely different look of what you're doing. So that's a really, really that. nice way yeah, of being able to do that. And on acetate as well. So we could do our die cuts, put that over the top of that, which would look really cool. Uh, in fact, I might use that tomorrow, Joe. I've got some dies on the show, some creator card dies. That would look lovely stuck onto that and uh, showing that in the background. Yes, so I'm going to pop that to one side. So they're just some of the things that you can do. What I really like to do with, especially with the, your UPO paper, so just grabbing this bit here, is actually having pieces that you can dry. So I'm going to bring that pink in again. Do you love this pink colour? And I'm just going to pop some, some um, drops of the ink on there. And then I'm just going to dry it as well. Uh, Diane says she thinks there needs to be a Colour Me Happy show every day. It's been that great, this show. Uh, Christine Mahoney says, I love you two so much. How <laughs> nice is that? Uh, Tracy says, Colour Me Happy is always my favourite show of the week. And this one has been especially fun. Uh, and Dawn says, I don't watch regular TV anymore. It's CCTV all the time, live and reruns. Well, we love having your company. Uh, John, so glad that you can join us and so glad that more of you are able to join us live now as well with our programming being a little bit later in the day even you west coasters uh, get to join us at a sort of respectable time it's what is it it'll be one o'clock in the afternoon won't it by the time we go off air today so uh yeah that's awesome you get to lots of you now get an opportunity to spend most of the day with us which is fantastic oh they're lovely comments thank you so much we love the shows too, Joe, don't we? We do. We have a lot of fun, don't we? We certainly do. Right, so the other thing I'm going to do is bring in uh, my eyesight, iso, pro, iso Your eyesight problem clean, did you almost call it there? <laughs> Ice. Iso, <laughs> iso iso isopropylene. Isopropylene. Okay. Isopropylene. Isopropylene. It's so awful. Not a good word, is Tomato, it? Tomato, tomato. Tomato, tomato. No, I can't even get the actual word, Joe, so I don't think it's smarter or tomato. <laughs> <laughs> and, now I, and I can't actually find my... Um, there it is. I don't know how I can't find it. I've right, I, isoproprono. Uh, isoproprono. 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 <laughs> 
still not it. <laughs> isopropylene. Isopropyl. No, it's iso isopropanol. Oh, I thought it was propylene. No, propanol. <laughs> it's Jay that's got it wrong. So he's got it wrong, clearly. <laughs> Isopropanol. <laughs> I say let's just call it the squirty no. stuff that's in that. <laughs> in that so this is a great technique because I'm bringing in the isopropanol and uh, when you've got something that's dry, you can then start really wisping your colours, Joe. And this is, this is a technique called wisping. So if I just, and I'm going to actually bring in some, um, a piece of tissue because we can then have something that it spreads down onto. So you just sort of pick a point and you wisp it away. So I'm just bringing in some more. And you just, as you sort of stir it, you let that go somewhere, but it's a really nice, nice effect that you get with this, uh, with doing your, it's amazing this stuff, this isopropanol. I'm gonna keep saying it so I get it right. And you just get all these different looks onto your We could just call it rubbing stock. alcohol. Yeah, rubbing alcohol. Well, apparently, uh, apparently I am correct, and you've written it on your bottle wrong. It is isopropylene, apparently. Right, can I just bring in my bottle? I know yeah, of course. To... I didn't say yeah. it. The, the customer said it. Isopropanol, isopropanol. There you go. Isopropanol. Yeah, isopropanol. Um, the the legendary um, Tim Holtz, he says is isopropanol. Purpanol. Because it sounds like purple. Yeah. I, well, mm. I'm sorry, Tim, but you got it wrong. <laughs> yeah. Legend Tim might be legendary, wrong. but not on Countdown, clearly. <laughs> <laughs> Are you okay? You're right. You're off again. <laughs> that looks beautiful. That looks like a gorgeous sort of abstract, abstract sunset, Debbie. Abstract sunset. I like that. It's very yeah. nice. I reckon there's it? sort of two characters walking through the desert there, you know. It is one of those. One of them is slightly see. shorter and chubbier than the other one. Which way are you looking? It looks like a scary face. Look, two eyes, a nose, a oh. mouth. Grumpy face. I was looking at it that way. Oh, it's got lots of faces in that. I can see a duck and a robin, actually. It's like Fiona's coffee cup. Yeah, they're brilliant. She does that. That's brilliant, isn't it? Let's do another squirt. <laughs> oh, look, it looks like a ghost face. It really does. Oh, look at that. You could almost do like, you could do tell your future, but through, is this, uh, you know. Is this how we can play our games tomorrow, Jo? Liquid inks. Well, this is the game. Is can you, the game? Can you guess what crafty item this is? Oh, well, that look. looks like an abstract <laughs> face now, look. <laughs> That looks like me on the 22nd of June after our first night out, Debbie. It does look a bit... It looks like a grumpy face this side. Well, I mean, if you put it... Maybe square it once more, we'll get a coded message or something. I don't know. Who knows what could happen? Oh, oh and now it looks like a child. Isn't it straight? Oh, you could have a lot of fun with this, couldn't you, Joe? But yeah, lots of stuff that you can do with that. Oh... Shows. What is it? <laughs> oh, does it oh. go that way? Every, yeah. It's very I mean, quiet. You can just keep are going you quiet at home? What, the comments are going to be really funny, aren't they? <laughs> yeah, stop. Stop everyone saying. I think it's enough. I think it's enough. Uh, Laquieta said she never thought to do it on the acetate. Patricia Watling saying, uh, yes, thank you, Joe and Crafts Companions, for accommodating us West Coasters. We greatly appreciate uh, these later times, so thank you. Laura Jones says, my favourite pair, uh, Joe and Debbie, uh, which is awesome. Uh, loads that you can do with those. Let me just recap what you're getting in there again. Uh, of course, you are getting the uh, dusty purple. You're going to receive the true blue, the light green. This one is the orange. You're, you're also getting there. <laughs> oh, Debbie, you're also getting there the jade green, the bright pink. <laughs> and the light lemon yellow. <laughs> what are you doing over there? <laughs> Honestly, very distracting. Uh, right. 
Oh my goodness. <laughs> Let's go back to that metallic ink <laughs> starter pack that we've got for you on this show, uh, which is this one just here now. Uh, what you're going to get in here, of course, is the four jars of the metallic inks. Now, the metallic inks are great because, as Debbie was saying earlier, probably up there is, I would say, the most versatile of all the inks because the amount of things you can use them on. Uh, they um, you can watercolour with them, but then once they dry, they don't move. It's a really sort of special property that's within these. We're also going to give you as well a stamp. You've got one of those lovely floral words in there. You're also going to receive one of the blending tools and you're going to get the premium paper pad from Spectrum Raw. 240 GSM this and it is uh, the black one that you're getting because it really does show up well with those opaque inks. Um, they are very, very great. They're really, really opaque on black cards. So they work well on white cardstock as well, but on black particularly, they really, really do show up and pop. <coughs> now, $24.99 or $39.95 is what you should be paying just for the inks on their own. So you've got an awesome uh, deal here because in the US, you're just paying for the ink sheet and absolutely everything else. Debbie's giggling away over there. I don't know what's going, what's happening. She's trying to rub the tears from her eyes, but she she looks like she's been macerating blackberries with her hands instead of her feet in some sort of twist of fate, it seems. I bet I've got ink all over my face, Jess. You've also got ink on that piece of towel, so be careful. <laughs> look, look, talking about that, look at that. Oh, what's that? How cool is that? That's the reinkers that it dripped onto in the last in the demo earlier. Oh. And um, it's the pattern on the the tissue. So it's like a crop circle. Look how cool that is. It's another message. That's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, another message. <laughs> uh, right, uh, metallics then, Debbie. Very, very busy on this starter kit. You're essentially, well, in the US, you're just paying for the metallics and you're getting everything else totally free of charge, which is awesome. What is it about the metallics that makes these so special, Debbie? Oh, because they've got just amazing mica in them. And there's so many different effects that you can do with them, which is great. Uh, and the main thing we want with anything like this is to be able to use them in so many different ways, even though we sometimes get stuck on those ones that we love the most. So for me, I faux bleach everything because I just love that look of that background. Uh, and for other people, you're, you're going to continue to do those shaving foam techniques, so everything's going to be amazing. But I want to show you a few different things that we haven't shown throughout the show, and I'm just going to tip half my water away, uh, because what you can actually do, you can make misters out of these as well, Jo. Uh, we don't even need to have that much, you don't need water in there, but I like to keep a little bit of water in there. I'm just going to just give this a uh, whiz round, just to make sure all the mica in there is... Uh, all blended in uh, and once it's blended in I'm then going to use my pipette to fill my mister so uh, find a pipette there we go pop that in there and then I'm just going to pop that into there now I could I think I do need a little bit more water so put too much water out you don't need um, the full thickness of the actual metallic inks in there uh, and actually why waste any more than you need to so just putting a bit in there with the water but it means when we then bring in our card we can actually spritz look at that oh wow love I that mean, it really is amazing and once that dries you get that beautiful uh, and you know i know a lot of people buy things like mica sprays you can make all your own mica sprays and be able to get all these really cool backgrounds so that's a really good one uh, the other thing we haven't done Joe in this um, uh, couple of hours which I really wanted to do was show how you do that calla lily technique the which one the calla lily okay so what it is is I just there we go uh, I'm bringing in just a piece of card that I folded in half and I've just got myself a piece of wool now I haven't done it with wool before I normally do it with twine or a piece of string uh, but I'm going to use this wool uh, what we are going to do we're just going to paint uh, our metallic inks onto this so awesome. just giving that a shake just a nice way to uh, be able to use them a little bit differently. Uh, Joy Sampson says, so we need a new show to be developed and it's going to be called Craft and Laugh and it must star you two. Uh, she says. <laughs> I think we can definitely get that signed off. Uh, Helen says she's never laughed so much. She really needed this show. So thank you. Oh, You're more than lovely. welcome, Helen. Uh, Reed says, thank you, Joe and Debbie, for making this one of the best Fridays I've had in a long time. Oh, I've not laughed this so much nice. in such a long time. How lovely is that? That is so lovely. Let's just hope no one sort of 
of pause this tape out for a review somewhere down the line, <laughs> uh, Debbie, because, I mean, or let's just hope they look at the start and not the end to be fine. Yeah, they'll be fine, won't they? We're, we're allowed to laugh. We're OK, aren't we? Deary me. Sometimes you just can't help it. It's getting worse, though. I just some, I feel like I'm going through this bit of a giggle stage where I'm just laughing at everything, Joe. I like just talk and then giggle afterwards and don't even know why I've giggled. <laughs> <laughs> like then. <laughs> That's what I do. So uh, what I am doing now, um, I used to dip that into here, Joe. Right. But then it would be too wet. So what I would suggest is grab yourself a piece of tissue as well and just dab that because you really don't want this to be too wet. And then what we're going to do is I'm going to place it between this piece of card. What I am going to do is just close my lid so I don't knock that. Uh, we are going to then just swirl this in our card. So lay it down, let it sort of naturally go where it wants to go. And you're just going to put some swirls in, making sure that comes at the end and close your card. So when you close your card, bring that bit more central in, you will pull this piece of string. Now you don't need to hold it too tight, but just hold it so you know that when you pull your string out, when we open that up, look at the effect wow. that we get there, which is amazing. And we can do that again. So if we just use it to go around, it's, it's going the opposite way now. And the, and the great thing is, is because you've got two pieces of card, um, you've got two different effects on the card. So we'll pop that in there and then we just bring that out. And then that gives us another effect on there. Look so a really amazing effect. Now you imagine that you can do that in all different colours. We could even, Joe, give that a bit of a spritz in. Debbie, have you got anything you'd very... like to be voted on for card of the show, creation oh, of the show? Oh, should I, um, what we've got as our finished cards? You've got some finished ones there. We'll, we'll have a vote on one and pop we one onto the... We had a thanks one, we've got this one, and where is the... Uh, they've got that, this thanks one. We've got three really here, Joe. So if I bring these out to the front, so we've got... Uh, so we've got the I daisies. Think, well, this one was the first one. Should we do this one first So one? let's have Flamingo. Daisy, are they, what are they? Are they daisies or something else? I can't remember. Let's call them daisies for the purpose of this. Flamingo, Daisy, thanks. Uh, they oh, are the three Daisy options thanks, that you've got there. there. Oh no, they both say thanks though. It was fine, you know which one it is. Oh, yeah, Flamingo, <laughs> Daisy. One, two, three. Thanks. <laughs> one, two, three. Flamingo, Daisy, thanks. You go for it. You have got five minutes to vote. Uh, make sure your vote is counted. Awesome. Uh, so get your votes in. Uh, my dog's looking at me with a strange look. I'm laughing so much, says uh, Chantel. Um, uh, lots of you absolutely uh, love this. Ah, should we do the winner of, the, um, of all of this? The winner of all of this bounty of stash that you're winning here. Uh, it is, I mean, if this is this lady's real surname, then I think it's amazing. Uh, but I'm not sure it is. But let's share with you anyway. Uh, it is Heidi Craft. Uh, Heidi Craft, you are the winner. Congratulations. You need to drop us an email to prizes at crafterscompanion.com. That's prizes at crafterscompanion.com and we will get that absolutely awesome uh, lot of uh, products sent out to you, which is absolutely fantastic. Commented uh, during launch day uh, on YouTube. So there you are. Absolutely awesome. Right, shall I just give you a little recap of some of the awesome things that you've seen in this two hours? Let's kick off with the Aquatint collection that you've got here, that starter collection, where your, your Aquatints, you've got your watercolour cardstock, the stamp, uh, the ink pad you need, stamps, you've also got the cut and emboss folders and some of those spritzers in there as well. Really lovely co uh, collection there for you. Next up, you've got the Sparklinks starter collection here, which you've got the Sparklinks, you've got the ink pad, the brush, uh, the pad, uh, the stamps there and you've also got the dies and stamps as well then the metallic collection that floral stamp you've got the inks themselves which are worth 24 sorry they were worth 24.99 or 39.95 on their own though so you do the math you can see what a great deal you've got here you've also got that blending tool and the paper that you would need as well i say paper it's a proper full-on cardstock 
Now the blending starter kit, also got this available to you on the show. You've got that wonderful mat, so great if you don't, you got, um, don't have the space for one of our really big glass mats. This is great because you can roll this up and put it away. You've also got the blending tool, the palette and the spritzers there as well. And also, of course, the re-inkers there for you as well. 3594, 4770. Uh, a really awesome collection there. Uh, a rainbow collection for you, which I think is absolutely awesome. Loads uh, coming up tomorrow here on Crafters TV. I know we've still got a little bit of time left, uh, but uh, loads coming up tomorrow. Play Your Crafts Right in the, uh, is our first show of the day. Uh, I've not done it yet. I don't really know what I'm letting myself in for. No one's done it yet. Shut the front door. They're letting us do it first, Debbie. I'm How nervous. exciting. I'm nervous. Oh, my God. We're going to be so bad. <laughs> We're going to re... Is it going to be giggle-inducing, Johnny? It's going to be a giggling show tomorrow, yeah. Is it really funny? It will be hilarious. With us two, apparently, it's going to be hilarious. So we'll see. Uh, but then also, uh, we've got a craft-along then as well, Debbie. Anyway, what's after the theme for tomorrow's craft-along? Oh, I can't wait, Joe, because we've got edibles. Last week, I did a craft-along uh, with Creator Cards. Um, and now, we're going to do an edible mark. Which, well, surprisingly, one card of the week. I don't know how. Uh, no, I don't know how. I got so many messages there was afterwards. A lot of, so, <laughs> there was a so lot of funny. canvassing for votes going on, Johnny, is all I'll say, yeah. <laughs> Worth watching it back if you didn't see it. I um, don't I don't think it was anything to do with Joe. Oh, I, I don't. I'm one on my, my own. Absolutely own not. System. Debbie yes, was on yeah. the show and uh, uh, I was here doing the show as well. Uh, the demo of this show, who knows, maybe this will be demo of the week, Debbie, is the Flamingo is the demo of the show in this show. Da, da, da. Yeah, that's the one. Oh, and actually, Joe, we've not even shown, have we? It's ah, yes, in. the salt technique. We did have a few things that we hadn't shown. So we've got the cling film. Uh, the cling film might not be dry. And actually, I don't think my card was wet enough, so we're only just getting that. But we can still see. Oh, yeah, we can, actually. Look at that on there. Really beautiful. Oh, look at that. It's a really gorgeous effect. Oh, gone the wrong way there. Gorgeous effect on there. But I don't think the cling film one will be dry <coughs> enough. No, it won't. Uh, it needs to really be dry <coughs> properly on that one. But I will do it again and we will get to show it on another time. Awesome. <coughs> we'll see that uh, next time. Don't forget about Spend It, Save It, Craft It, which is running all weekend for you. Spend 25, save 5. Spend 50, save 10. Spend tw uh, 75, save 50 as well so make sure you use that uh, and you can use that in conjunction with the discounts you see in the shows as well as your club inspired discount as well so it's a really really awesome little extra incentive that we've got for you it started this morning and it's running all the way through until the end of Sunday so make sure you take advantage of it we've also got as well the get it got it good deal which is a fantastic trio of paper pads this week paper pads I say it's kind of a hybrid isn't it between the two they're 200 GSM these they are also the first paper pads that we did that have have a pearlescent coating on them. So they're really beautiful uh, in a really lovely array of patterns and colours there as well. 39.98 or 49.90 uh, if you want to get your hands on those. Are you okay over there, Debbie? Yeah, just dropping yeah, just, everything as normal. Just, 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 just <laughs> fine, don't worry guys, don't worry. <laughs> she's still giggling though. She's, she's not gonna stop giggling. <laughs> I, I don't know how you're gonna... <laughs> <laughs> She's like a little giggle monster, isn't she, at the moment? You've got the light, you've got the lemon yellow in here. We're going to go back through these re inkers again. We've got this lemon yellow in here, which is gorgeous. You are getting a lot in here. As well. I was just looking mills wise, 30 mills in each of these. So you've got the lemon yellow, you've got the jade green, you've got the bright pink, the orange, you've also got the true blue, uh, the dusty purple, and also. Uh, that light green in there as well. So really, really uh, fabulous colours within there. 35.94 or 47.70. So yes, as we said tomorrow, play your crafts right, myself and Debbie. Also, I get to do the first new show on Sunday as well, don't I? Bernie's softer side show in its new slot, which will be very, very exciting. Uh, but yes, tomorrow there's uh, myself and Debbie, midday here in the UK, which will be for Play Your Crafts Right. We'll also be here, of course, for that craft along from three till five in the UK. And then I'll be up with a totally Tiffany takeover craft house with Tiffany Spalding herself, direct from Arizona. Uh, it'll be myself and Tiffany here with you for two hours, which is gonna be awesome. How great for Tiffany that she doesn't need to get up in the middle of the night anymore to, uh, <laughs> You know, because she was always up, wasn't she? What was that? 
<laughs> what was that, Debbie? What was it? I just tripped over. I just. I just got caught my foot in the um Oh, I, <laughs> oh gosh, Debbie. It wasn't I thought on, it was though. another it I thought on. it was another jar for a moment. <laughs> I thought those are gonna be some colourful That jeans. Sarah must have left that there. Oh, absolutely, definitely, <laughs> definitely would have been Sarah's uh, <laughs> Sarah's problem. It's been a fun it's been interesting, isn't it? An interesting couple of hours, Debbie. Do you know what? I, I've loved this show so much because I've just got to have fun, get inky. Uh, and actually, it's what crafting should be about, Joe, isn't it? Just being able to have fun uh, and get messy. So, uh, yeah, and tomorrow I'm just going to be in my total element because I'm going to be back to die cutting uh, and we're going to be doing the craft along. But I can't wait for Play Your Crafts Right. It's going to mm, be really fun. Play Your Crafts Right will be fun. If you want to see all the items that you need for Debbie's craft along, uh, it's that, uh, over on social media. Now, I'm guessing it's on your social media, Debbie. Uh, as you'll find it on the Crafters TV social media channels as well. So definitely get all your stuff together and make sure you come and craft in real time with Debbie tomorrow uh, at 3 p.m. here in the UK, which is, what, 10 a.m. East Coast, uh, 7 a.m. West Coast time, uh, and you'll be able to craft in real time. If you've not caught one of the craft alongs before, we do it basically from start to finish uh, at a time and pace that you guys are going to be able to keep up with. So it's a really awesome. It's like a it's like a uh, going to an actual craft class, which is amazing. Uh, so join us for that tomorrow. That'll be brilliant. Don't forget to check out your baskets as well. I can see a lot of you still shopping uh, across on the website. Make sure you come and join us again uh, for a fantastic full day uh, of shows here tomorrow. Uh, as I said loads coming up uh, play your crafts right then we've got the craft along then I'll be here with Tiffany uh, as well so a really fantastic chock-a-block full day I'll be here with Bernie Sunday morning uh, and of course Jan will be back with us as well and then Craig will be back here all day on Monday with me so I've got a really lovely uh, few days I'm here with you till Monday so I do hope you'll come and keep me company all weekend here on Crafters TV right if you're here in the UK or, or across in Europe if you're across in Europe it's bedtime now it's, it's 10 p.m. Uh, we've got time to go and have a bit of a gossip uh, and maybe something to eat, I reckon, before we go to bed, myself and Debbie. Uh, if you are across in the US, enjoy the rest of your day. Huge thanks to Debbie, as always. Big thanks to the team next door in the gallery, of course, and also to you guys at home. I'll see you back here tomorrow for another full day of Crafters TV. Take care.